This is our first block. It's called downward block or down block. And it's a defense against someone trying to kick you in the groin or reach for the groin. This is what it looks like. First from our June B position, and I'll walk you through this in a second. The first position is a chamber or a fold where I'm going to pull this arm across my body, take this hand like I'm going to stab myself in the shoulder, but I don't rest on my shoulder because I don't want to be lazy. I want to make sure it's slightly off of the shoulder. Then we're going to bend our knees to lower our center of gravity, turn our hips so we can generate power, and then we're going to step into our first stance, which is called the front stance, and I'm going to do front stance as I turn my hips and execute the block. So that's called the downward block. We're going to follow that up with a punch. We're going to aim to the center of the body, look straight ahead, chin up. When I step forward, I don't want to go up and down. I want to stay nice and low, like there's a ceiling here. That's called keeping your head height consistent. And I'm going to step through and punch just like that. When we get to the end, we're going to turn. And that means I'm going to take this hand and bring it up, cross at the elbows again, step across with my back foot, spin, and then block in the opposite direction. We're going to aim, step, and execute the punch. So let's give it a go. So let's start with the balance. Watch me first. Our feet stay one shoulder wide. We're going to bend our knees, turn our hip, then step forward about a shoulder and a half, and then we lock it in like this. I'm going to push with the back foot and bang, square my hips and my shoulders. My front knee should be over the front foot. In other words, not back here, but I'm sitting on that knee. The back heel is on the ground. The back leg is straight, shoulders back. All right, and as we step forward, watch me. I'm going to move back. I'm, just, I'm, going to, I'm going to turn my hip. My foot's going to move forward. Turn the hip, step, and then lock it in again. Do that. Step through with your right leg. So this leg, bring it through, and then twerk. Now, the back heel should be on the ground. Good. Front knee or under your shoulders. So both of you right now are kind of on a tightrope. You want to be shoulder width apart, okay? And then take a little step back and we'll do another step forward. So try and mimic me as best you can. Right leg is in front, your other right. There you go, shoulders back, front knee bent, back leg locked. You can even look in that mirror just to compare. Again, I'm going to turn the hips, step forward, lock it in. Try that. Step forward, lock it in, okay? So you're here, Christopher. We want to turn. It's called squaring off to my opponent, all right? Now we're going to do the turn. Watch me first. The back foot slides straight across on the balls of my feet. Watch me first. I'll spin into four balance in the opposite direction. Okay, we'll do it together now. Slide this foot over, spin in the opposite direction. So there we are. Front knee is bent. Bend, turn your hips, step forward, lock it in, shoulders back. Again, we're going to turn, slide your right foot across, spin, front knee bent, that's better. And at the end, we always step back away from our opponent out of respect. Okay, relax. So that's front stance. Let's put front stance together with the downward block and the lunge punch. So from here, remember, we're going to do the same balance we just did. We're going to, add, we're going to stack on top of that with our downward block. So take this hand, stab yourself in the shoulder, bring this elbow across. So you point your elbow down because it's going down. I'm not doing this, I'm doing that. So it's going to sweep my body. Watch, let me do this one, one time and watch. Dang, that's the action, okay? The balance we just did, the hip torque we just did, and the block. And the reason we cross our arms is because if I'm creating power, and the block needs to have power, I'll hit harder if I have equal and opposite reaction. It's Newton's law. So it will hit a lot harder. So here we go, because we need that power. With me, bend your knees, turn your hip, take your left hand, stab yourself in the shoulder, take your right elbow under elbow, step your left foot out, and with your hips, torque and block. There you go, left hand over your hip, or thigh rather, Pull this hand back, front knee bent, back heel on the ground, and then let's go back to here, and we'll do it again. This time, the first move is all going to happen at one motion. Watch me. I'm going to drop, turn, and load up. Pow! Like that. Ready, drop. Good. Let's try it again. Ready, drop. Okay, step out. Turn and boom. Lock it in. 
Okay, this hand should be one finger from your thigh. You should be able to touch your thigh with your middle finger. So I want to make sure that I cover the groin. All right, pull this hand back to your hip, Christopher. There you go, and Alexander. Shoulders are back, chin up. There we go, one more time. So when I say fold, I want you to see this. Ready, fold. Step out, use those hips, bang, lock it in. Other hand back to the hip. Okay, aim now to the center of the body. So raise your front hand down, and hand up, and aim to the solar plex. Pull this hand all the way up, Christopher, palm up. There we go, okay. Watch me first, I'm gonna step forward, pow, and throw the punch right down the center. I'm not going in front of my shoulders with the punch, I'm going right down the middle of the body so my body weight is behind the punch. Ready, step, punch, step. There you go, other hand up. Okay, ready, step, punch. Okay, shoulder square, there you go. Hand on the hip, front knee bent. Now we're gonna turn, right hand falls on top. We're gonna learn a block now. This is called the down block, as I mentioned before. All it is from fighting stance, I'm just going to sweep and turn the hips. Sweep and turn my hip. And this other hand protects. See how my body's protected, my face is protected, my groin is protected, and all I have to do is that. It's real fast, and I can recover from it real fast. So let's try it, all right? After me, step. All right, elbows in. Look at the edges of your body. Those are your body lines. Your hands never go outside there. It's always inside the body lines. So take this hand, sweep it down and back. Bend those knees, Christopher. Sweep. All right, now turn your hip away. Back again. Turn the hip away. Now look at yourself in the mirror and look at me. Turn your hip away. My knees are close together. I'm protecting the jewels there. So Christopher, uh, Alexander, get your knees closer together. There you go. Up on the heel. All right, let's put it together with a sweep. Ready, block. Back again, block. Back again, block. All right, switch sides. All right, block. We don't reach, we let it come to me. If the kick doesn't reach us, we don't want to force contact. If it doesn't hit us, it doesn't hit us. We can hit them. Sweep, sweep. All right, I'll turn the hips this time, sweep. Okay, watch my top hand. Try and open it and cover your face.